Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Tanman1013, and I am here with something new, something special. This is Club Penguin, an online game thing. This is something new that I'm trying here. I'm not sure how well it's going to go, but this is this is Club Penguin. I've had this account for a very long time. We check here. Yeah, 2,500 days old. That's a long time to be playing. And this game is basically a multiplayer online game where you can just like talk with people, hang out with your friends, and yeah. A lot of mini games you can play. So if we were to go to the map here, this is the entire island you can go to. So we'll go to the ski hill. Give it a minute to load. There we go. You can see that there is actually sledding. I can give you an example of a sled race right now if someone were to join me. Join. Join. Please join. This could take a bit. I have one of those sleds right there. You can see that I'm circling it right now. She's holding that kind of... Oh! Maybe. There we go. Okay. Use your arrow keys to steer. I had to give it a moment to catch up there. Hit all the bumps and not the actual, like, things around you. And if you can see, it actually has a real-time counter of where the opponent is. Up in the corner there. Sorry if I can't show you. But right up here. It's very difficult for me. I can't multitask very well. But the the hills grow more difficult as you go higher up tier. This is just a low tier racing course with for two players and I won. Look at that, you get twenty coins. Which is actually not bad at that bad of an amount. And that's just an example of one of the mini games. Some of them are not that fun, some of them are not bad, some of them are pretty awesome. Uh Lots of advertising for different events going on. Coming up here on the 26th of March, 2015, there's going to be an expedition to find new and exciting puffles. Now, I can go ahead and show you the puffles as soon as this loads, and this is, yeah, that, that's that. Uh, puffles, here we go. Go to the plaza. Let it load. My computer is quite slow with the loading process and all that, so, yeah, kind of sucks. Oh, we've got a water ninja going on over there. I am a full ninja, you know, three of the things you can, oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's that. Uh, but here is the Puffle Plaza. This is where you can go ahead and adopt a Puffle, which is basically the pet of this world. There are many pets you can adopt, as I will show you here. It's very laggy because there's a lot of people talking. So here's are the puffle choices that you can get. You have the white puffle, the black, the pink, the purple, the yellow, the brown, the orange, the green, the blue, the red, the rainbow back here if you were to click this. It'll give you a thing that says only members can get this. And the other poster in the back is the golden puffle, which is also another golden thing. Which is also another member thing, I should say. And then there are these two. I have not yet gotten either of these two puffles. For many reasons. But but to be but like if you read the definition for most of these, they have some pretty interesting things. Uh, it gives you their favorite snack, their personality, how they were going to act, and all that. You go to my igloo, which is I've been working on a little bit, with my golden puffle helping. Right here is my igloo. This is my little domain, you should say. And all this golden stuff, my golden puffle right here got for me. Except for this. This was from an event a long time ago. And this box and these toys and these beds and 
food issues and that even that is something that is from a long long time ago uh, but if we go into this box this is something that I really like not very many people these days have one is a portal to the box dimension yes it is a real thing in the game at least and this is where the orange couple first came into existence during the box party the orange puffle is a very bucktoothed puffle, I guess you could say. Let's see, there he is. There he is. Bye. This is someone else's here. Look at that. Someone else has a portal. But, uh, yeah, this is the box dimension. Uh, after that, there is the secret iceberg, which does not highlight when you hover over it. It's not really a secret because everyone knows about it. But here you can play Aqua Grabber, which is actually really good for coins and the money of the game, basically. That's what I'm not going to do because it takes a little bit. Uh, the things are always changing. So, for instance, if we were to go to the stadium, depending on the event, the stadium will have changed. So, if it's a huge hockey event, like, say it's hockey, this will be like this. It's sometimes a soccer field, sometimes a bus, basketball, sometimes volleyball. It's, it's insane, the different things that you can do. The catalog down in the corner that you can check out, see what's going on for sports. A lot of stuff. Not much for me to buy. Uh, if we go up, we can go ahead and head back out. Uh, something that I'm really happy... Oh, I found a pretzel. Okay then. Speaking of which, I should probably get my couple to search. This is just searching for extra money, some furniture items, and I've got 48 coins though. Uh, let's see here. So if you go to the map, this is something that they added in recently. I stopped playing this for like two weeks. No, two years even. For a while there. I've gotten back, I'm getting back into it. Uh, right here is the Puffle Park. So you can go ahead and go up here and you can do whatever you need to do for your couple to get them nice and shiny or nice and ready for the day. Let's go ahead and do this again. Get them nice and clean. There we go, that's better. And another thing that they added recently was the skate park. This is something that is very interesting I should say. I'm going to go ahead and get my board out, wherever it is. Where is my skateboard? It must be at the top. But there it is. There we go. This is something that I really like just to AFK and do whatever I need to do on. You just AFK here and my guinea pigs are squeaking. I'm not sure if you can hear them or not, but they are. But this is the skate park. There is many different. There's a couple of things you can do here. So this is the half pipe, which you just saw. You can go down the railing, like that. If you go up here, you can go ahead and do this. Whoosh, too good. And then something that you know, other people don't know about is if you go up to the bench, you do a grind on it. I'm not sure how well that showed up. So do it again, just like that. It's pretty useful. Uh, go back to the map. One of the hardest and most time consuming things on Club Penguin is at the dojo. A while back, it actually only had the regular card jitsu, which is a game, it's basically a card game inside of a game. Game section going on over here. Whoa. Insane. But, uh, before this was never here. Back when I first started, this was never here. All that I could play was the regular card jitsu, which is the mats, and talk to the sensei. And before there used to be, before all this came to be, there was a ninja hideout, right over here. They took it out and replaced it, because all this stuff came in. Now these things are different stages and different games of the, of the card game. So I can, I can probably show you. No, actually I can't. No. I'm not going to show you. Uh, let's see here. Let me think. 
instead of load while I'm thinking. What else to do? What else to do? It's taking its own sweet time. Dang, this is a while. I swear it doesn't usually take this long. I promise you, okay? Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So I'm going to cut it here and I will see you right back here when it is done loading. And I'm back. Uh, it's going to take, I had to actually re like log off and log back in for it to actually work properly. So I'm going to probably get, go ahead and get my suit suit back. There we go. Okay, so this is the dojo, as I've said before. Over here we have the fire temple, or the fire area. Volcano, as some would say. That guy's freaking a giant puffle. A giant crystal puffle at that. Dang, that's actually kind of creepy. Uh, let's see here. I am a full fire ninja, so... If ever you want to challenge me or anything, just let me know in the comment section below and I will help you. I need to dig. I will help you out with whatever suit you need to go to. You need to go for. Uh, this is the legend for the, for the fire suit. So you start off, start off with nothing. Then you get the flame sandals, the magma coat, the lava mask, and then finally the fiery helmet. Once you get all those. Now once you are full fire suit, it's ready. If you dance, you can use flames like that. You wave. Dang it, my mouse keeps on double clicking on me. You turn invisible in a fiery little smoke ball. Let's do that to you again. And now, once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and change it to my suit right away. Gosh, dang it, start working. Ah. Okay, my video is almost done here, so I'm going to have to hurry this up. Okay, there's my thing. Uh, the water temple, if you go back over here, head up here. I've got like a minute left to do this, so I better be quick. And this is the water area. If you are a water ninja, you can go ahead and, when you dance, you do this, in it, you do this animation. That. No, that's when you wave. When you dance, you do this. Uh, I'm going to cut away until I'm in the snow area because I don't want to waste time on the video. Be right back. And here is the ice area. The ice area is a whole new system. I'm not going to show you all that. It won't take too long. My puzzle's digging something up. Okay. Uh, if you dance, if you wave with your snowsuit, you disappear in a spiral. You dance, do this crazy animation, like this. Uh, that is it for me today, though. Uh, if you want more Club Penguin, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys when I record a video next. You never know what that'll be. See you then.